you again. Yippee! I'm freezing my ass off. But you never let me get out of this, do you? Well, it's me, Dave. You know, it's bad enough having to deal with all this ice and snow and cold and crazy drivers. But sometimes I have to deal with a frozen load. But there's a safe way to unload this popsicle. So I'm going to talk about the procedures you need to use. So put on your mittens and listen up. For starters, do your best to avoid getting water trapped in your container. This can be done by carefully managing the container when you deliver it to the customer's site. Some scrap recyclers achieve this by tilting the box slightly and putting a block or pallet under the rails. This way, any melting snow or rain will be able to run out of the box. But be very careful when doing this. The box needs to be on stable footing so the customer can safely load it. Keeping the container covered helps too, but many customers won't do that. That said, if you do end up with a frozen scrap load, you should do the following. One, put the container on the ground if it's a roll-off or lugger box. Don't try to unload it on the back of the truck. Two, use a material handler with a grapple to separate any frozen chunks and pull them out of the container. But don't ever try to do this if the box is raised on a truck. Dislodging a bunch of frozen scrap in a raised container could end up tipping the whole truck over. We transportation professionals call that a bad thing. Remember, tipping the truck over, always bad. Three, when it's safe to do so, open the container doors. Be mindful to stay out of the way of any loose or falling scrap. And while you're doing this, make sure the crane operator knows where you are. Another way to loosen up frozen scrap is to use a stringer. A long I-beam attached to an end loader. The stringer can be used to dislodge a frozen mess without the need for an operator or driver to be anywhere near the point of operation. There's safety and distance, you know. The thing you don't want to do is start climbing around the load with your Zippo or a torch trying to melt stuff. Another important safety tip, setting yourself or your truck on fire, always bad. Bottom line, be careful. In recent years, the number one injury to drivers has been slips, trips, and falls. Many of those accidents happen when drivers climb around, into, and on top of containers. The top of the container is a slippery slope that leads directly to the emergency room. In your yard, the crane operators are pretty skillful with their grapples, so chances are they will be able to sweep out the container without the need for any hand sweeping. Stay out of the box and off the load. Safety tip number three, getting crushed under metal, always bad. But the easiest thing to do, if possible, place the whole frozen load and container in a maintenance building or some other place that has a little heat. After a night of thawing, you can offload the box with ease. Some drivers also carry a propane blowtorch with them to unfreeze drain plugs. Drain plugs are common on lugger boxes, and as long as there's not a lot of oil in the container, unfreezing the drain plug can help get rid of accumulated water that might otherwise become a tasty freeze tree. And while we're at it, be sure to use extra caution when lifting containers when it's freezing outside. Roll-off boxes can easily slide off the rails if they're not lined up perfectly. They're slippery enough when it's not cold. Adding a little snow and ice makes everything want to move faster than my bowels after a Mexican lunch. So pay attention and slow down. So that about does it this time. Use your head in the freezing weather and never try to rush to get the job done. I don't care how cold it is. Above all, you need to operate safely, or not at all. <laughs>